Hi and welcome. Let's learn how to implement a custom cursor in Unity. It's a great way to add more style to your project and much easier than you might think. This is only for non-animated cursors though. In your project, create a new script called something like Cursor Manager, which will handle the cursor functionality. Define a field called Cursor Texture of type Texture2D. In the start function, we will use the cursor set cursor method to set our custom cursor. This method takes the cursor texture, a hotspot position, which we will set to vector to zero for now, more on that in a moment, and a cursor mode, cursor mode auto in this case. Attach the cursor manager script to an appropriate game object in your scene. I usually put it on a dedicated cursor handler game object. Select it and drag and drop your cursor texture onto this field to assign it. And make sure that inside your texture, you set its texture type to Cursor. That's already it. Now when you run your game, you should see your cursor in action. If your cursor doesn't have its hotspot at the top left corner, you can set it to any other value by changing the vector for it in the inspector. Once this is working, let's see how we can extend it so our cursor will change when we hover over certain elements in the scene like this. First, expand your cursor controller script. We are going to turn it into a singleton and add the required new cursor texture at the top. Additionally, we are going to need an enum to check for when setting the correct texture to our cursor. The cursor controller gets a new method called setToMode, which takes the kind of cursor we are looking for and changes the visuals depending on it. We need a second script too. This one will get attached to everything that should change our cursor. To have Unity handle this for us, we will implement the iPointerEnter and iPointerExit interfaces with their respective methods. We need to be able to set the mode of the cursor at the top and call the custom controller set mode depending on our value. On exit, we just have it switch back to the default texture. If the graphic you're hovering on sits on your UI canvas, there's nothing else you need to set up. Just make sure you have an event system in your scene. If you use this for objects in your game world, they will need the appropriate collider and your camera needs the corresponding physics 2D or 3D raycaster depending on if your game is 2D or 3D. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, you would make my day. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great week and see you next time!